Yeah, good afternoon. It's getting darker. And uh, let's get off that car. Maybe close the window. It's very noisy this afternoon, so I better close. Get off my car over here to the fruit shop. Let's see. This is uh, Pakistan, Islamabad. And it's me once more, Stefan Hege. I'm talking to you just here before Christmas time to get some fruit juice. Nice. Grapefruit, eh? Grapefruit? Hey, grapefruit, Panaya, Melvani. Okay, welcome. I'm doing some recording about my reading from this afternoon, as you see here in the fruit shop. Okay? This makes fresh fruit from grapefruit, oranges, bananas, shakes, dates, all type of uh, good stuff. And I'm here reading for you from the Holy Bible again. And this time it is chapter 16, John's Gospel, where Jesus gives an example here. He gives a very nice example about a woman giving birth to a baby. She has pain. This is because her time to give birth has come. But when her baby is born, she forgets the pain. She forgets because she's so happy that the baby has been born into the world. Okay. Now, Christmas incarnation, when Jesus came into this world from the Father, he was born as a baby through the normal way birth channel of a woman, the Blessed Mary. Now, he was eternally born with a father, but he was born as a human in this world for you and me to save me. So let's read on. That's the way it is with you. It says here, now is your time to be sad. Jesus says, because you'll be full of joy. No one will take your joy away. He's talking about him going back to the father. I'm about to tell you that what is true. Uh, my father will give you anything you ask for in my name. So he's talking about uh, the father God giving you and me whatever is needed if we ask him in the name of Jesus. He says, until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive what you ask for. Then your joy will be complete. So whatever you ask. Okay, I ask here for a grapefruit, milkshake, uh, fresh juice, and uh, anything good uh, they give me, they provide me, but I have to pay for it. Okay? Jesus says he will give me for free, whatever you ask. Okay, no price, no price tag on it, on the juice, but he will give things for free, that your joy is complete. Uh, I have not been speaking to you plainly, Jesus says now, but the time is coming when I will speak clearly. Then I will tell you plainly about my father. So Jesus always, as the son, had the father take. He said, my father is doing this, my father is doing that, I'm with him, this and that. All the time, my father. What do you think? Are you like that in this world? Or are you saying, no, I want to be independent from my father, I don't need him? Okay, when that day comes, you will ask for things in my name. I'm not saying I will ask the Father instead of you asking Him. No, the Father Himself loves you. This is now your Heavenly Father. God loves you because you have loved me. All right. He also loves you because you have believed that I came from God. Okay. He talks to His disciples who believed Him. John wrote it down. First century text. And he goes on to verse 28. Let's read that now. I came from the Father and I entered this world. No, I'm leaving the world and going back to the Father. Okay. Then Jesus' disciples said, Now you're speaking plainly. You are using examples that are clear. Now we can see that you know everything. You don't even need anyone to ask you questions. This makes us believe that you came from God. Now they're saying, nobody needs to ask you questions. You are not in need. 
and somebody would ask you questions because you came from God, you know everything. You believe that? Let's look up there. Up there, next to the fruit shop, up here, you can see me, if you go far away, in a mirror. Let's look at this. That's where I'm recording, okay? Okay, this picture, you go back again. Here, the fan, here, everything, in a mirror. So, whatever Father says, Jesus knows the same thing, and He says, and um, now Jesus tells His disciples, at last, you believe, Jesus said. Remember some chapters earlier, He says, those who believe, they will live. And those who believe Him, they are the ones who love Him. But now He talks about, towards the end of this chapter, verse 32, a time is coming when you will be scattered and go to your own homes. It has already started, He said. You will leave me all alone. And that happened just a few days later at the cross. But now I'm not really alone. My Father is with me, Jesus says. He is with me. I'm not really alone. But you will leave me alone. So why does He say this? I have told you all these things to encourage them. So that you can have peace because of me. Because just like they left Him, uh, the Father never left Jesus really. And they said, um, I will also not leave you. Thank you so much. Now you see, I got something very, very good. Grapefruit juice, fresh to drink. Just as we ask them, they provide. So Jesus ends this chapter with saying, in this world, you will have trouble. But cheer up, I have won the battle over the world. Okay, chapter 17, Jesus goes on to pray for his disciples. So now we see once more, it says, don't be afraid. Okay, don't be afraid. I have overcome the world. So if Jesus has laid down his life for you a few days later after this event, disciples run away. They could not stand. They were scared. They were scattered. But he gathered them again. After he rose from the dead, he gathered them again and they believed. And they were those who spread it to others. Have a nice day.